In lesson five, the students learned about exponents and how they relate to the operations we have been studying so far in the algebra unit. And we talked about repeated multiplication. To represent repeated multiplication, the students can use exponents. They take the number that's being repeated. This is called the base. And then they count how many times it's repeated. One, two, three, four, five. So this becomes five to the fifth power. This is the exponent. Then the students, we also talked about evaluating it and doing it in a way um, that kept our work organized. So I had the students underline the first two factors. Five times five is 25. And then I have them call what I call the checkmark T technique. 25 times 5 is 125. 125 times 5 is 625. 625 times 5 is 3,125. And the students are allowed to use a calculator when evaluating these exponents. Okay. This second one would be 2 to the power of 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Okay. This is 8 to the third power. Um, third power has another name. It can also be 8 cubed. Okay, Cubes have three dimensions. That's why the third power can also be classified as a cube. They have a length, a width, and a height. Three dimensions. And they call this cubes because cubes, all sides of a cube, are equal. Okay, So if we had a length of 8, the width would be 8, the height would be 8, and to find the volume of the cube, the students would do length, width, times height, and that's why they call it 8 cubed. 8 times 8 here would be 64. Checkmark technique, 64 times 8 is 512. Okay. Another way we went to talk today, we said, okay, if that's 8 cubed, what is 8 to the second power also called? And we talked about two-dimensional figures. Um, this is also called 8 squared. Squares have two dimensions. They have a length and they have a width. And squares also have um, equal sides. So if we we're going to find the area of this, we would multiply length times width, or 8 to the second power, or 8 squared. Okay. We talked about the cool powers of 10. Instead of doing the check mark with 10 to the 6th power, I had the students write it out so they saw the exponent as expanded notation. But there is the trick. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. It's all going to be 1. And this exponent is telling you how many zeros to include in your answer. So 10 to the 6th power would be a million. And we talked about other examples. We did 10 to the 8th power. You write down the 1, and then you write 8 zeros. So we talked a little bit about that. And then we also talked about um, having a uh, uh, variable with an exponent. g to the third power is 3g's, and that is repeated. Exponents indicate repeated multiplication. And I guess the, there's three things I'm going to touch on before I end this video. This is a huge standard for New York State. Um, the difference between 3g and g to the third power, or g cubed, both have three g's. However, this is three times g, and multiplication is the same as repeated addition. This is g to the third power, which also has three g's, but exponents indicate repeated multiplication. And this is a huge topic that we'll be going over. And exponents isn't really something that is new to the students. However, the inclusion of decimal bases and fractional bases definitely are a new concept for them. This would be 75 hundredths to the third power, or 75 hundredths cubed. And the students can use their calculator at this time, and they would calculate 75 hundredths times 75 hundredths. And they would write their answer underneath 5,625 ten thousandths. OK, 
okay, then they would multiply that product by 0.75 again. And their final answer, 421,875 millionths. Okay, I shouldn't have put that comma in there. Sorry about that. Okay, and that would be their final answer. Okay, they can also have fractions as a base. This is one half to the power of three. One half times one half, one times one is one. Two times two is four. I'm gonna use the check mark technique, and I actually like to write this one out. So they can see one times one is one, four times two is eight. So the answer for that one would be one eighth. The most disappointing thing, or the thing I want students to be careful of, they should never multiply the base by the exponent. Six to the third power is not equivalent to six times three. You have three sixes in multiplication. Six times six is 36. 36 times six is 216. And that's a brief summary of what we did today in lesson five.